speaking to Mr. Jackal? Yes. Who is this? My name is Bunny. Bunny the Rabbit. We've got Emily. And if you want to see her again, breathing, blood pumping, etc., then I suggest you listen very carefully to what I'm about to say. I'm listening. We want six hundred thousand dollars. That's dollars, Mr. Jackal. Not shillings. You will put new unmarked hundred dollar bills in a black leather bag to be dropped off at a location that we will communicate at a later date. I will send you some photos in an hour. Keep your mobile on. And is that all? Well, yeah. But I don't suppose you want me to say anything as cliche as you go to the police and she fucking dies. Have a wonderful day, bitch. That, I promise. Please, you have to let me go. Shut up, bitch. Please, I have a baby. Uh -huh. No, you don't. We know who you are, Tumasime Emily of Naguru. Mm -hmm. We know how rich your father is, too. Hold us steady. Alright, come. Gosh, you're hurting me. Keep your head still. Hello? Hello? Who's there? My name is Emily. Who are you? I am Sam. Who are these people? I don't know. They had masks on, so I didn't get to are see. Are there others? Others? Yeah, like... Like us. I don't know. Put your head on the other side of the wall and listen. Okay. Okay, hold up. Mm -mm. Nothing on this side. Yeah, nothing on this side either. Do you know where we are? No. I was blindfolded the entire time, so I... Yeah, same. Have they told you what they want? Nothing yet. Okay. 
Is that a bad thing? No, not necessarily, but... I assume it's money they want, so... How long have you been here? Four days. Shit. That's crazy. I know. Too long. You okay, though? They haven't, like, hurt you or anything? No. I'm fine. They took my clothes. You know what? Don't worry. On my way in, I heard them knock. Sounded like an E-140 to be honest. And I think I can pick it. My dad even looked for me, so... Yeah, it was nice meeting you. Wait! What do you mean? I mean, you can watch in here if you want, but I'm getting out. Tonight. Look here, um... Sam. Sam, Sam, you need to listen to me. They will kill you. There's three of them and there's only one of you. You're going to die tonight, please. Just... Okay, look, I talked to my dad. He's going to pay them whatever amount they want and... And they will have no reason to kill us. So just, just stay, just stay. Emily, are you... Are you a white tourist? No, what does it have to do with anything? Like, have we been watching the same news? No one cares. No one is looking for us. I don't want to be the next headline, Emily. Plus, my parents, they can't afford to pay for me. So, staying here will only delay the inevitable. I'll just have to take my chances on the way out. of you to join us. <clears throat> 
to being rich. So what happens now? Well, we let the bitch go. Go our separate ways, um, become gentlemen of leisure or something. I don't know. What do you have in mind? like we had previously agreed upon. I don't know. Maybe we couldn't get all of it. Ah, right. Just like that. Without, without saying anything, he just decided he will not bring the previously agreed upon amount, right? Look, <laughs> This is all it brought. It's better than nothing, bro. Mm. It is still a lot of money. Mm. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of money, right? Have I ever told you why pigeons can't enjoy movies? No. Why? Movies are made of pictures that run really fast, creating an illusion of motion, which is why they're called emotion pictures. Now to us, 24 frames per second is good enough, you know, to create smooth movement. But the pigeons, 24 frames per second isn't good enough. They've got really good eyesight. Probably 10 times more than us. So to a pigeon, a movie's like a PowerPoint slideshow. Do you know what's sad about that? Even though pigeons see the world in slow motion, which should be an advantage, still doesn't save them from predators. And that's because they react in real time. Please, please, bro. You can have it all. Uh.
Yes, Dad. Uh, are you okay? Go talk about this No, no, I was just in the shower. Mm, uh, okay, uh, that's good. Mm. Are um, you like driving here? Yeah? No, no, no. I'm driving to my office. Just making sure you're okay. Dad, mm. I'm fine. Trust me. I changed the looks and everything. Okay, okay, okay. Mm, about the pictures I asked you to send, I'm still waiting. To be honest, I feel like keeping pictures of everyone I hang out with is a bit weird. I'm okay with weird. What I'm not okay with is keep them. All right, Dad, I'm going to send them. Good. Take care. You too. Have a good Sunday at work. Kare, 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 kare. A movie, man. <laughs> like Liam Neeson didn't actually save anybody, despite what Tekken will have you believe. So, yep. All right, Mr. El Paranoico. Oh, 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 you meant this useless security system? Yeah. Do you really need all that? I don't know about you, but I did really enjoy being kidnapped, so, yeah. So, is there like a 190 DLF? The lock? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's no such thing as being too careful. Hey, what's your Wi-Fi password? Ludwig18. Awesome, awesome. 
Sam, where's the remote? Uh, coming. Give me a minute. She didn't give us. Babe, she didn't give us our freaking drinks, man. Babe, she didn't give us our drinks, man. What? Just go and get it. Hold up. Selfie. Is this for the girl? Like, should I actually change my heart? No, and no. Hey, could you change my drink to a shake? Vanilla? Yes, pick. Gotcha. Wait, Sam, the remote. Babe, this is so criminal. Nobody had vanilla, so I got you a chocolate. That will that suffice? You don't like chocolate. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's, it's fine. Are you sure? Hey. Talk to me. What's up? My dad, my dad wants me to go home, so I have to go. Okay. At least let me um, pack you something real quick, real quick, okay? Real quick. You know, it's really not what, it's not what it looks like. It's really not what it looks like. between you and a grilled pigeon? I don't eat pigeon. Too easy.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>